Today in the podcast thing, it's our little history lesson. So it's on this day in history. I like to find interesting little tidbitty kind of things, yeah. tell you a little bit of a story. Uh, so this one, we're going to tell the story of Bertha Benz and her very first road trip. The very first road trip. Okay. I mean, it was hers, but it was also the world's first road trip in That's a what car. We okay. No, we, we don't is. believe. We know this is the world's first road trip okay. in a car. Right. And uh, we're going to go all the way back to 1888 in Germany for oh. this one, where Carl Benz, you know, of Mercedes Benz, Benz mm-hmm. be that guy. Oh, I heard of him. Yeah. So he had been working on inventing the first car, horseless carriage, whatever the heck you want to call it. And after several years of failed attempts, Carl finally has a working model of the car in 1885 and gets a patent for it in 1886. So this is a single cylinder. It's a 2.5 horsepower engine. Oh, yeah. Three Uh wheels, Monica. What? It's like a tricycle. (laughs) You got this. It actually did. It It looked like a tricycle. Um, but out of a big carriage. So you take a stagecoach mix with a tricycle, and that's exactly what it looked like. Max speed, 25 miles an hour, baby. Oh, yeah. I mean, we are hauling ass in this thing. Uh, however, despite being a brilliant engineer, Carl was a sucky marketer. So he's got this car, mm-hmm. and this is 1885, and he has totally failed at displaying this car to the public. He does one public demonstration. The driver immediately crashes into a wall and terrifies everybody. <laughs> It's like, yeah, look, it's a car. it doesn't have a horse. And then, boom, it's right into a wall. Uh, so we enter his wife, Bertha Benz. I like Bertha. To save the day. I'll show you a picture of Bertha, by mm-hmm. the way. There she is. You see oh, Bertha? Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, Bertha. Bertha. Bertha's like. Um, she seems supportive. She's 1888 hot, isn't she? Uh, let me look a little closer. You know. Yeah, she has some good bangs. Quite privilege times. hot. Yeah. Yeah, she's got good bangs yeah. and good curls. Yeah, she's late 1800s uh-huh. hot right there. The fashion was to be not hot. Yeah. So at least we have that, and Bertha is certainly not. Uh, she make a mean pie. There are no porn stars named Bertha right now that no. I know of. Uh-uh. Not we'll any good ones. See what's going on. So anyway, Bertha. Now this would not be the first time that Bertha bails out her husband because Bertha's family was loaded. So we can actually we can go back to 1870. This was two years before they were even married. Bertha used part of her dowry, which is you know what a dowry is. No. No. This was like in the olden days where that was. If you married Bertha, you also got the dowry, which was the money, whatever the money was. So it was sort of, it was basically, it was a price or or a bounty or a reward, Mm -hmm. however you want to look at it. You say, look, if you marry my daughter, you get Bertha in all her 1888 hotness and you get $1 million or, you know, whatever it is. I have no idea what the dowry was, but she took part of it because Carl had an iron construction company and it was failing. So his business is going under. Bertha bails him out helps him move on from that company and start his own manufacturing company. And the interesting thing is, is because they weren't married yet, she could do that with the money. Mm -hmm. But had they gotten married, then legally she had no right to it at all. Couldn't invest in it. Exactly. Because he owned her. He owned, Mm -hmm. that's just the way it was. So Bertha, you know, she knew what she was doing. So on a morning in August, 1888, she decides that it is time to show Carl's car to the world. Because uh, since the failed demonstration two years ago, he kind of had his car in hiding. He was working on it, trying to perfect the whole thing. But there was mounting pressure because a guy named Gottlieb Daimler. Gottlieb. Gottlieb. Daimler later became Daimler Chrysler. Mm -hmm. Again, another car guy. Uh, He was working on his own car. And this one, Monaco, it had four wheels. Oh, damn. I know. So Carl wasn't doing anything about it. He's still, I don't know, doing whatever it is he's doing in his workshop. And Bertha takes matters into her own hands. And without her husband's knowledge, she decides she's taking the car on a road trip. So she loads up the two teenage sons and decides to take a trip to see her mom about 60 miles away. And she just leaves Carl a note. That's it. I'm gone. Yeah. I took your Be car. Back later. Bye. It's actually the uh, it's the very first I took your car by note in the history yeah. of time because there had never be been this. I'll be before. right back. Well, it's not really I'll be right back because I'm gone forever. Um, bye. Well, <laughs> and here's why. So this car um, could really only max out at about ten miles an hour because uh-huh. the road rocky, dusty, unpaved. Can you, Fred, can you imagine the amount of pee breaks for Miss Monica? <laughs> oh, because <laughs> that bumpy gravel road. <laughs> oh, man. We're going slow enough. I can it just stick me... my butt out the. That is true. Car. 
Exactly. And again, this is basically uh, if you go look up the car, there's no roof or anything or windshield. I mean, no. this is this is a horse-drawn carriage without the horse that's got a little crank, like a lawnmower motor on it. Is right. what we're talking. Probably not, worse. I mean, it's two and a half horsepower. Yeah, yeah. that's all. Uh, so yes, you could just pee off the side. You're not going, going fast enough for you to blow back. Uh, Twelve hours to get there. Mm-hmm. Twelve hours is what it took to go mm. the uh, sixty miles. And Bertha also kind of like MacGyver on this trip. Because the fuel line gets clogged. She clears that with her hairpin, pulls oh. it out, and takes care of that. The ignition breaks. She fixes it with her garter. You go ahead, Bertha. I know. She's a badass. She was. Um, and as you can imagine, people who saw a car driving down the road were a little surprised since there had never been a car. What's what that thing? she doing? Yeah. Um, it's sort of like looking outside and seeing someone go down your street in a, uh, oh, magic carpet? I don't know. Yeah. Or a flying car. <laughs> Just anything. Yeah. 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 Like, never wait seen a minute. Before. You're on a carpet. Yep, just going to get some milk. See ya. Aladdin. See ya, Brad. Hey. Aladdin. Yeah. Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Aladdin will be later. Oh, uh, let's not forget, uh, not only was there a strange horseless carriage on the road, it was driven by, dun, 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 a woman, the horror. I mean, oh, what? But women weren't really allowed to do anything know, back in the day. I know, yeah. So you see a woman out on her own. Driving this voodoo car of whatever it is, this magic, this invisible horse car. Yep. So that's uh, that's freaking people out. And they're starting to talk about the whole thing. And uh, by the time Bertha left for home a few days later, word had traveled around the world. And even more people were gawking at her when she drove home. So she, And she drove like a different route to get back around to okay. sort of show off to more people as ah. she went. So she drives. Marketing. Right, and she because she knows what she's doing. Yeah. She bailed this dude's business out two times already, and she drives 120 miles during a time where every other car that had been invented had driven a few dozen feet. That's it. Mm. I mean, this really is the first road trip. She gets back, orders come in almost immediately, and within a decade, this dude's company is the largest auto manufacturer in the world, employing 400 people and making 600 cars a year, all thanks to Bertha. Bertha did it. Uh-huh. So why don't we have a Bertha? Why don't we drive a Bertha? Why don't we drive a Bertha? The name isn't sexy. Yeah. You can I, drive a Bertha. It's big. Big Berlin. It is. A it's, name. It's, yeah, that sounds um, like a Big Bertha, Bertha. That navigator. sounds like a name for a van. A dump truck, Take actually. away a navigator. A Make it a Bertha. Make it a Bertha? Yeah. Well, they do have, if nothing else, in Germany, you can actually still take the 120-mile-long Bertha Benz Memorial Route. Oh, that sounds sad. Yes, yeah, so you do. I don't want that. <laughs> well, she, of course she's dead. <laughs> I don't want her road. I don't want to drive yeah. on a road. I don't, I don't want to go on that like, fat road. Right. Ugh. So just Gross. take the big, I want the big fat Bertha car yeah, instead. I don't know, Bertha. She's very slim in the picture. She is very, uh, yeah, she is. She yeah, is. so you can she got did wrong. follow the path of yeah. the historic trip and kind of applaud someone that at a time where a lot of women were just either ignored or treated That's as cool. property, she basically created the super fancy Mercedes Benz that none of us can afford. That's cool. You go ahead, Bertha. That's neat. There's your history lesson for the day. I know. Look at that.